Jeff is working him over. Look at that. Jeff's going to move him up out of the groove and get by him. Whoa, Bush is around. Can he save it this time? Oh, there you go. He does. He saves it. But there's a Jeff, more Jeff, car Jeff Gordon's outside. upside down. Jeff Gordon's upside down. And Kurt Busch's car is destroyed. Oh, my gosh. Jimmy Johnson's car destroyed. Track crew quickly on the scene to aid Jeff Gordon. On the radio, he has told his team he is okay. Yeah, I see him. I think I can see him moving. And he is okay. Let's see what happened. I think it, it, it's, it's really Jeff trying to get the 18 car Kyle Busch up out of the way. Pushing on that left side again. Yeah, he's just working on him, Michael. He, Kurt, uh, Kyle was blocking, and Jeff was trying to get him loose and get him up out of the way, and he just uh, got on the left side and spun him out. Look at the job Ambrose and Boyer did coming through there. And there's our buddy, old Brad Keselowski. We ain't seen him up front all night. He's fixing <laughs> to restart with a chance to win this baby. Yeah, I asked Jerry, Larry, I said, is Brad Keselowski in this race? Well, yeah. Jeff Gordon's car went about a thousand feet on the driver's door before it barrel rolled to a stop. Yeah. You see Jeff down there, he just gets down on his left corner, and we've seen that time and time and time again. You got to stay off the left side. What do we do about that, though, man? How do we fix it? The drivers just have to make the decision that they've got to lay off that left side. Look at this long slide for Gordon, and that's Kurt Busch tangled up with him and Jimmy Johnson. And that car still hasn't uh, lost much of its momentum as it goes side over side. <laughs> Jeff Gordon gets a round of applause from the crowd here, and he is okay. Let's take another couple of looks here from ground level. And Jeff Gordon, after sliding 800 feet on the driver's door, up and over and dissipating energy. Jeff Gordon has emerged from the medical center with a smile on. What a wild ride. What precipitated all that? Well, you know, it's just uh, getting down to the end of the race, time to go. And uh, me and Jimmy were looking good there. You know, we knew those guys were coming. And, and once uh, Kyle got in front of me, <clears throat> I'm just trying to, you know, keep Jimmy on me and, and try to stay with Kyle. Every time I got to Kyle's bumper, he's just started getting so sideways like, like he was a lot tonight. And, and uh, I thought he was going to wreck. I saw him start to spin, so I went to go wide, not knowing that somebody had got to my outside. That turned me into those guys in the wall, and uh, along for a ride we went. Uh, and then Kyle ends up winning the race. So uh, pretty, pretty wild and crazy way to uh, get it all started. Certainly an exciting finish for the race, so I'm excited about that, but not the way our drive-in hunger Chevrolet wants to get the 2012 season started.